Hello again, guys and girls, the Gears War community. Welcome back to another Gears War Judgment gameplay commentary. What you are watching is one smexy ass gameplay, and my gameplays are pretty smexy, so that's a smexy statement right here. But enough of the smexy talk. What do we want to really talk about today? Um, <laughs> another cringy intro. I, I, I just get too, uh, too into my intros. But yeah. Um, so, I just got off watching the latest Active Reload episode, I believe it was episode 6, something like that, and um, if you haven't watched it yet, or you don't watch um, Active Reload at all, I definitely suggest going and doing that right now, well, not right now, watch this first, finish watching this, and then go over there, but it got me thinking about a whole bunch of things. Now, I did plan to do this commentary before that, but it's got me thinking about, like, a, a whole dozen different things that I now want to talk about. So, while this gameplay, or this commentary, rather, was going to be on one singular thing, now, um, I've got a whole bunch of things that I want to rattle off, a whole bunch of ideas. And I really just want to get people's creative brain juices flowing so they can get excited about judgment again and maybe people can get back to thinking well maybe this game is just what we need maybe this game can be the shit but yeah um so yeah uh basically the first thing i wanted to talk about the original thing was i really wanted to make a gears of war judgment competitive community channel and I've been thinking about this for a while and the main reason I wanted to do this was because I've had experience with the Gal Forum YouTube channel I've hosted that for a little while now I've been managing it I've been doing a lot of things for it and then the main thing I've been doing is hosting the top five plays and I kind of I don't really want that to just disappear but for those of you who've seen my previous commentary I, it's just like the European scene right now I don't feel like supporting the people in it just don't want anything to do with judgment They don't even want anything to do with growth of their own community So I can't sit here and support them while It's gonna get me nowhere. It's gonna get them nowhere and anybody who wants to join is just gonna get bullied straight back out of the gal forum so what I've been thinking about doing is getting in contact with the people all around the Gears community, um, as a whole, people like Arctic Cream, loads of high-profile characters, not necessarily casters and YouTubers, but everybody, eh, can't even speak, everybody out there who's, um, who's got a real standing in the community, starting, and just start to get something together, get the ball rolling, and maybe get a competitive community channel going, so we can really have something that will draw players in who have maybe a PVR, but they're, they're not so high profile in the community. Maybe I could create something of a hub so people can send in, you know, their scrim footage. Maybe they get an awesome play, so they submit it for the top five plays. Maybe they want their team to get better, so they submit it, and then we do something about, um, like, going over their gameplays. That was one of the things we wanted to do on um, the Gal Forum. There was a whole bunch of plans for the Gal Forum, and I really wanted to blow that out of the sky, you know? I wanted to sit there and make the Gal Forum a really respectable um, source of competitive content, but it's just the Gal Forum and the community itself. It just doesn't um, promote me doing that. So, that was, like, the main thing I wanted to talk about. There were a few other things now, so... Even though that I've planned, and this carries on from the last uh, commentary, so if you haven't seen that, go watch that as well. Basically, I went over how I'm leaving esports for a while, and that still stands, by the way. I still probably will not go to another European event, at least until EGL 11, maybe even after that. And I suspect after that, uh, it won't be hosting Gears because the new consoles will be out, but, you know... Um, it doesn't necessarily mean I'm leaving the community entirely, and I did say this on my last commentary as well, so people should understand that by now, but what I've been thinking about is trying to get into the community and just try to shift over to the good side, you know, not necessarily the American side, I just, I don't want to put it out there that the Americans are the almighty of the community, but really, like, as an actual community itself, as a group of people who support each other, 
who put it out there to help new players and things. I think the the Americans are doing it a lot better than us, and that's not necessarily, again, not necessarily the Americans. Maybe we can include the Canadians, the Mexicans, and all, all the people from that side, all the people who are kind of bunched together because of their region and things like that. That kind of general group of um, players, that community individually is, I just think it's a lot better than what we have over here in Europe. I mean, basically, over here in Europe, is 90% um, British anyway, so that's just how it is. But, like, it, it just, like, I feel like I want to move over to that. I want to help support things over there, even if I don't compete. Well, I still want to talk to my team again, um, see if there's anything we actually do want to continue with Judgment, because... If the game does pick up, if the developers do start putting out maps, start putting out updates, making the game better, then maybe sticking together as a team, maybe we can convince Kyle, who's um, the manager of Epiphany, our organisation, that Gears is actually worth investing in. Maybe we can get some funding, we can go to LAN events, we can enter online tournaments, things like that. But for now... I mean, I just want to see how it's going. I want to see if I can get involved with these other things that are going on, um, including these dozens of leagues that have just popped up, these tournaments that have popped up. I still want to get into casting as well, which went awfully at um, EGL9. Like, I kept on trying to get into casting at EGL9, but it was just awful because, like, the whole... Um, th the way the station was set up, pretty much everybody was crowded around the casting table. People just kept on sitting down and chatting and um, just saying things behind me, and I, it was really hard to concentrate. Then I was working with people... Um, like Finch, who I'd never casted with before, and um, like we just kind of didn't really have much uh, things to bounce between each other, so it, it was really difficult to cast at EGL9, but I, nevertheless, I really want to get into that. I want to see if I can contact Fruz when he gets back because he's gone on holiday the past few weeks or so. That's why I haven't really been able to talk to my team much because we haven't really been a team, we've just been chilling, we've just been um, sitting back, you know. Um, just playing some games, doing some crap, and um, focusing on ourselves for a little while. But yeah, I mean, there's a whole bunch of things I wanted to uh, get out in this commentary that I still haven't, like uh, how I want to improve my own channel and stuff like that. But I guess I'll continue that in some other commentary soon. But for now, guys, the gameplay is coming to a close. So thank you for watching, and goodbye.